Derek is next. There you are. It's looking the wrong direction. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Derek Balsley. I'm uh, on the Social Media Club of Des Moines board, and I work as a marketing communication specialist at Craig Tool Company. Uh, Craig is a woodworking tool manufacturing company, and it's just up the road in Huxley, Iowa, so in the metropolis of Huxley, Iowa. And um, what we do is we create, we make woodworking tools. So most of our customers are woodworkers, or they call themselves DIYers. And the really cool thing about working at Craig is that we make a lot of great products. We make products, products that really make a difference, products that people love and are passionate about and get, get really excited about, and uh, products that people talk about. They, they allow people to accomplish tasks that they normally wouldn't have been able to, to accomplish. Um, one of our most popular tools is called a Craig Jig. Some of you may have heard of it. It's on TV once in a while. And um, <laughs> so as a company, we wanted to really find a way to get all of these brand advocates that we had across the world, across the country and across the world, tens of thousands of people who are really passionate about the tool and passionate about woodworking and, and had a story to tell. We wanted to give them a location online somewhere, a platform where they could sh tell everyone else about that, about that passion, tell everyone else about what they, what they were excited about. And um, so we, we, had, we decided we want to kind of go down that path. We weren't sure the way to do it. There were all sorts of the concerns regarding ROI and regarding, you know, how do we control the message? You don't. Um, so, um, but eventually we were able to kind of break it down and we decided to go ahead and I, I was given the go ahead to put some actual time and energy into social media online. Um, as soon as I was given the go-ahead, I, I kind of came to an epiphany of, okay, well, I guess now I don't know how I'm supposed to actually do this. Because um, woodworkers, is, as many of you may know, well, let me, let me do it this way. If you try and imagine right now someone who's a woodworker, maybe it's your father, maybe it's a crazy uncle, somebody who's out in their garage working on, working with their hands, getting dirty, they're not usually the person you'd expect to be pulling out their iPad while they're doing that and getting on Facebook. So. We knew that there's going to be a little bit of a challenge there, so we had to approach it in a different way. It wasn't as it wasn't as simple as creating a Facebook page and saying, "Okay, we're now now we're social." So <coughs> we had to approach it in a different way. What we did as a post-purchase experience. We we really wrapped it into once you purchase the tool, um, there's all sorts of um, reasons for you at that point to engage with us online afterwards. Um, free uh, woodworking plans, for instance. If you just bought a tool that's going to help you build a project, now we need to give you the plan to actually build that project. And that plan happens to be on Facebook.com. So we went about it in a lot of different ways, but the end result is that we've had a tremendous amount of success with it, from our perspective anyway. Uh, as of today, we have about, um, we sent out a monthly newsletter that reaches about 100,000 woodworkers a month. We have, a, uh, we have a YouTube community that has about 2.25 million page views. And we have, uh, we have a smaller, younger Facebook community that uh, is about 6,500, but that allows us to get real-time real feedback from our customers. But the most successful um, aspect, I think, of what we've done is our Ning user community. I don't know how many of you know what Ning is. About half. Um, Ning is a... Um, online platform that allows you to create your own social network, your own social community, so um, complete with, complete with uh, photos and videos and forums and blogs and everything else. So it allows you to create a really rich user interface for your customers. And we've been able to get 30,000 woodworkers on our community, um, and they're sharing all sorts of things from you know, from stories, the last project they built, photos, the last project they built, they're sharing their passions, the things that they're excited about on that community. And um, it allows us to really get the pulse of the customer and to better understand, you know, what the projects, what, what, the, what the tools that we create, what that actually means to the customer. Um, I wanted to give you, I, I wanted to have a slide and be able to say, okay, this is a project that somebody built and this is why this is important. 
Uh, I couldn't do that, so <laughs> she wouldn't let me do it. So uh, what I wanted to do is just read off to you a couple comments that we received, I think, kind of sum up what the community actually means to people. This one I received, um, he says, it makes, it makes me very happy to know that there are still good companies out there willing to go above and beyond to help their customers. Thanks to your excellent community, you can now consider me a loyal Craig customer, and you can count on me telling everyone I know just how great your company is. It's about as good as it gets, I guess. <laughs> um, there's another one here that I, that I really liked. Said at, this, this one, I think, really speaks to the transformation um, in some of our customers from somebody who, um, I got a phone call one day, somebody said to me that they got fired from their job, I think it was in Detroit, actually, he was a, it, was a, it was an auto manufacturing job, he got laid off, didn't know what he was going to do the rest of his life, he was sitting at home watching TV and, to, and he saw our infomercial on TV for this Craig jig and he said it just completely transformed my life. Now I have a passion, every single morning I wake up and I go and I build, I build a piece of furniture. And um, that's, this, this quote reminds me of that. Um, As of two months ago, I'd never built anything in my entire life. After seeing your infomercial on TV and all the great projects I saw others building on this community, I decided to give the Craig Jig a try. The project didn't turn out perfectly by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm proud to say I built it, and I've never had so much fun. So I thought that was, those were pretty good. Um, so I think, you know, Social, for our company, at least, social media allows us to get a more personal connection with our customers. They're not just numbers. They're not just, you know, one sale versus another. Um, they're actual people that have passions. And so when we do something wrong, it means something. If they have a poor user experience after purchasing, we're responsible for that, and it allows us to react much faster. Um, based on all of our, on our experiences, I got a few, um, five little quick tips, I guess. The first one would be listen. Um, social media is uniquely designed for you to be able to speak to many people at the same time as you're speaking to a few people. So it allows you to get the main message across, but also to address the finer points, address people who are having very specific issues. And so I, I think it's an incredible opportunity, and we have to make sure that we're, we're constantly utilizing that opportunity. Second one is adjust for your audience. Um, the way I talk to people on the, Craig, on the Craig community is very different than the way MTV probably talks to people on their social networks. You got to adjust to your audience, know what they want, know what they value, know what values they have, and, uh, and speak to that. The, second one, or the third one is to provide value. Um, why are people listening to you? Why, why bother? Why take the time? You have to give them something that they want, whether it's answers to their questions, whether it's project plans for them to, to spend time building, you have to be there to actually provide some sort of value. Um, fourth one is interact, respond, ask questions, be a real person, not just a company. Um, it's got to be a personal experience. And then um, the two last ones here, know your goal, aim for it, achieve it. Um, I think the biggest criticism that we get in social media is that it's kind of fluffy. You know, people are, you know, d define exactly what your ROI is here. D define exactly what value you're adding to the community. So it's, it's a hard question that we get, but it's got to be a question that you can answer. How much time do I got? Two minutes? Um, so you need to actually think about that and be prepared to answer those questions because it does add value, and there are real ways to measure it. There are analytics. There are metrics. There are ways that you can monetize, and it's not unimportant. It's important to use it to, as a communication tool, but it is important to use it as a leveraging tool as well. Both stories are true. It's not one versus the other. It's a combination. And the last point I wanted to make was uh, Michael Libby mentioned earlier that it's not a magic bullet. Social media is definitely not a magic bullet. And I, I, would, I would define it more as a magnifying glass if um, you know, when we, when we first started our efforts, the concern was, well, we're not going to be able to control the message. We're not going to be able to, if they're saying bad things about us, there's nothing we can do. Well, it's a magnifying glass. If you have a great brand, you're going to get great response on social media. If you have a few struggles, you're going to get a few struggles. It's a magnifying glass to whatever you do. And I think that uh, that represents a huge opportunity for people who are doing a lot of other things right. 
So um, that's about all I had today. Just wanted to share what we had done. So.